In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up failover for Call Manager 12.5. Um, so, say you have your phones like this one, and you just have a publisher, or you have a publisher and a subscriber, but it's not set up for failover. Um, if we go to the phone, we'll be able to actually um, see what it is able to uh, see. So, I'll go to Settings, Device Configuration, then I'm going to go to Unified CM configuration, and you can see under the first one it says active. So if I select that, I see 10.0.0.10, which is um, the publisher, and there's nothing to click under CM2. Now, I, in the last video, I added a subscriber to the cluster, so I'm going to set up failover for that. Um, if you do not have a subscriber, you are going to have to add that. So go ahead and check out my last video. I will link that. Um, so, but I will go ahead and get started on setting up the actual um, failover now. So in Call Manager, I'm going to go to System, Cisco Unified CM Group, and I'm going to add a new one. And I'll name it. Um, pub then sub and the reason for that is um, I want it to first I want phones first to register with a publisher and if that is unavailable then I want it to register with a subscriber so dot 10 is the first one so I want that highest in this group and dot 11 is the subscriber, so I want that as secondary. So I'm going to go ahead and click save. And then I am going to go to system and device pool. And I'm going to add a new one. And I'll call, call it phones device pool. And then I'm going to select the Cisco Unified Communications Manager Group that we just created. Pub, then sub. Um, I'll give it a calling search space. Um, internal only for auto registration. Uh, I need to select that. And region as well. Um, and then for the purposes of this video, that is enough. So I'm going to go ahead and click save. And then I need to apply this to a phone. So quick review, we created the call manager group and then we created a device pool and applied that call manager group right here. And now we need to apply that to one of the phones. So I'll use the phone that I was just showing you on the screen. And so uh, on the phone page, you'll see device pool so I'm going to click on that and I'm going to choose um, uh, phones device pool. That's the one we created. So I'll click save and apply config. And then my phone should reset here. There it goes. So now if everything worked correctly, if I go back into settings, device configuration, let me make this bigger here, and unified CM1, I see that it is active. Unified CM2, I see that it is standby. And there is the IP address. Uh, might be kind of hard to see. Um, but it's 10.0.0.11 under IP address, which is the subscriber that I created in the last video. So we are set up for failover. Now I'm going to test this. So I'm going to open up. I'm going to have to log in one sec. Okay, so here's my lab ESXi environment. If you'd like to create your own, um, there are videos about this and that's in the series as well. So I, this is my publisher right here. I'm going to open up a console connection. And I'm actually already logged in, so that's good. Um, so I am going to uh, restart this server and monitor the failover on my phone to make sure that it is working. Um, 
Let's see if I can get this into the screen. Oh, no. Pause the video. Okay, so I'm going to say utils, system, restart. Okay, so my thinking here is I'm on the publisher CLI. I'm going to restart the system. So if everything is working properly, this phone, there should be a brief uh, blip and it should then be connected and working um, on the subscriber. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Yes. Restart can take up to five minutes. So I will watch the phone here and let's see what happens. And there we go. It just went ahead and failed over. I believe it flashed for a second. Um, so I'm going to go to the subscriber just to confirm. And so here's that phone. I'm going to click on that. And you can see it says Registered with Cisco Unified Communications Manager Lab CUCM02. So, um, once this comes back up, once uh, this finishes restarting, it will automatically fail back over again. So we are good to go. We successfully set up um, failover. If you enjoyed this video, please like, please subscribe. And um, <clears throat> if you need to set up your lab esxi and your publisher call manager and your subscriber call manager check out the series that i made on that um and uh let me know if you have any questions in the comments thank you for watching